understand. I, I, ponies, having ponies, having a pony collection, I understand. If you knew what, what these things must mean to me, for me to have broken into places to retrieve them, to, like, it's what I grab when there's fire, like, for, to appreciate what this is to me, you have to understand that I've lived my life in constant crisis, that people have been stealing my things all of my life, that I have been wronged, that I have had the deck stacked against me, and, and ponies, my pony collection, my pony collection was this proof all around me that I wasn't struggling anymore, that I wasn't alone anymore, that, that I wasn't in crisis anymore, even though my health may be, that's not the same. It is not the same as being homeless in hospitals, not knowing when you're going to eat, not knowing who you can trust, having to put up with abuse because you need basic things like a roof over your head, like, like this. Can you see? I figured it out. I figured it out. This collection that I, that I wasn't just sitting on the few that I had remaining, but I was rebuilding what I had and rebuilding what my friends had, the ponies that I knew. This was always that, and I didn't know it until now. This was always proof that I was not in crisis anymore. This was always proof that I was not in crisis anymore. How huge this collection is, how many ponies I have. This is all I'm all I wanted only all 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 the just collect all all of the that only is the sweetheart sister pretty pony. That's all. I want to have every sweetheart sister pretty pony and 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 finish my Sunday best collection. This is my Mexican, this is my other Mexican. They're really sticky and I'm not sure what to do about that. The arena is just too bogged down to get help anymore. But this is, this is who I played with, with Amy. This is who I played with. And, and then one of the Bannister girls had this one and And this is, I don't remember her name, that's so sad. I want to say Coco Berry, Coco Berry Peppermint Crunch Swirly Whirly. I should know the names of these things, but look at how pink. I don't even know if you can see it. I can't see what you see. I can't wheel the camera. You know that. You know that. You know me. I just, I didn't realize, I was sitting here and it's like, this is bringing me so much joy. This is bringing me so much joy, just arranging my ponies, and, and I was like, I have so many ponies. I have so many ponies. I mean, there's G1, and there's G3, and there's G4, and G3.5 on my top row. Gotta represent. I love them. I love them. Like, like this was so, this was so important. This was so important to happen. For us to get that cartoon, we had to remember why we like have cartoons like we do and that's like anime. These big anime eyes. These are big anime eyes. These are chibi ponies. And that without that step, we would not have gotten friendship as magic. We would not. Um Look, this is this is the only G4 I've ever thrifted. What a thrift though. Her hair is just beyond but you know you know me I make it work I always make it work and I'm so I'm just so happy like to be playing I mean just I'm just arranging them I don't know um to be look 
I don't remember how exactly, but like this reminds me of someone. Like I got her at the same time I got something else for someone else. Cause I love to do that. Like send ponies to people in other countries and like, oh, what can't you find? Cause I can find it. And like this was, this was my happiness. This is my, ha this can be again. Really? Really? How can you say which one I am among them? I mean, really? Really? Darling, don't you know, don't you know that we wouldn't have rarity in all of her glory if we hadn't first had Rainbow Dash? And then Rainbow Flash? Rainbow Flash. Props to Rainbow Flash. I love Rainbow Flash and Rainbow Dash. They were like my first. Rainbow Dash was legit my first G3 pony because my first G3 pony was the giant one that I won in an arcade. <laughs> this is my light up one. I thought this was so cool that they did this. It's just a red light. It looks kind of orange because her hair, but it's, just, it's a red light. Even still, even so, I think it's cool. My trashies are in here too. They're, they, they, they got it. They got it. They're doing it. They're, they're, they're doing everything I wanted them to do with it. Like, if I imagine a toy, it becomes. And that's kind of like, like, really for real. I used to do product testing for toy companies and like, they would be like, what do you want? And I would be like, oh, are you sure you want to open that can of worms? And so, like, chances are, like, toys that you played with or that you love, like, I had a hand in those, like, coming to be, um, especially Mattel. So, oh, are we surprised now that... No, we're not. Here's my... She's so pretty. Like, her hair is... I mean, it's not even like a Pinkie Pie to me. Like, it doesn't even look like Pinkie Pie to me. But... This is happening now. Is this really happening? Am I sitting here in my Corn Follow the Leader shirt showing you my ponies? Is that what's... Is that what's... Is that what's... Is that what's... It smells like poop. It smells like cat poop. It smells like cat poop. Sweetie Belle. The Sweetie Belle came with like a little set. And then my Lyra, which I say Lyra, not Lyra. Not ever gonna say Lyra. I don't know. Oh, it doesn't matter to me. But I opened her, um, she went with me to my grandma's funeral. So, pretty, pretty significant opening. That's how I do. It's like, I got ponies for special occasions. My grandma. Uh, like, had a stock of them. My mom, like, had a stock of them. Like, people were like, Mindy likes ponies. <laughs> and, and there were ponies there were. But, yeah. I used to, I used to go to Children's Palace. Now it's Toys R Us. Now there's Toys R Us. But Children's Palace was like, a lot more magical than Toys R Us ever was. Honestly, Children's Palace was it. Um, look at this hair! This is the one that came with the carousel thing, I think. Which I have it to paint it because I love it, but I do not love... Um, and it's happening uh, all over is that like peeps are like, oh, Lisa Frank. People really love Lisa Frank. Let's, you know, like, do those color schemes. And, like, so there's, like, a lot of pony stuff that looks like Lisa Frank, like, had a hand in it. And honestly, like, for real, no. Lisa Frank does not deserve it. She does not deserve the credit. And, like, I will bitch you out if you say I look like Lisa Frank, like, and I don't know you. Like... I will take every opportunity to let you know that is not okay. Lisa Frank, 
is not a cool person. She is not a creative. She is using something to coast. And I say that like fully aware that this woman is very messed up in the head, that she has severe psychological problems and she is not dealing with them because she doesn't have to because she has enough money that she just doesn't have to. Um, and that's what I mean. Like, it is unacceptable, unacceptable to coast. Like, if you have mental things, you need to figure that out. I read, like, 50 friggin' self-help books in high school. What did you do? I took a book on tape course to get me beyond my anxiety, which, like, I could not set foot outside of the house. I could not get the mail and go to the mailbox. That's how bad my fear of leaving the house was. And, uh, like, when you are isolated, and you continue to live in isolation, like, your mental health only deteriorates. And that's why it's so important that we create a safe space. And always part of my, uh, my mall idea was to have, um, a My Little Pony museum. And, um, and then, like, an interactive one where you can actually, like, play with ponies. And, um... In my experience, pony people, people that, like, gravitated towards ponies, chose them over Barbies, like, like, choose them when the house is burning down, those, those are the most precious people. They are fragile, they are children, they will always be children, like, pony lovers. Like, that used to mean something. And it doesn't anymore, and we need to be wary of that, because now there's bronies, and a brony is not a male who likes My Little Pony. A brony is someone who is into ponies because of Hasbro's television show, Friendship is Magic. Hasbro, brony. They just hopped on board. I'm not saying that those people are not, there's not those special among them, but for the most part, it don't mean jack if y'all both like My Little Pony these days. It don't mean jack. It don't mean jack that y'all like the same stuff when y'all's exposed to the same stuff. When pop culture, when pop culture media is so in your face and you can get it so free and so everywhere and your parents can't keep you from it, it don't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter that you have stuff in common. That's not how you make friends. Like, the fact that people could play with me with My Little Ponies. That people were able to follow my ridiculously complex storylines with My Little Ponies. Like, that's how I know that pony people are special people. I'm a special people. I'm a crazy people, though. I'm a crazy people. I'm a crazy, scary people. And unless there's somebody doing it, unless I'm talking through it, and I'm just talking to you, I'm really, really, really crazy. You got no idea. You got no idea, and you'll never know. You'll never know. You can't know me. There's too much. There's too much to see. Thanks for tuning in, though. This has been fun. Mm, ponies! 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 <laughs> Dies with smile on face. <laughs>